Alabama Hospital Association reports more than 2,000 people are being treated for COVID statewide. WDHN's Alex Valdez met with the chairman of the Houston County Commission, who is urging residents across the Wiregrass to support local medical professionals while they continue the fight against COVID on the front lines. According to Mark Culver, due to the amount of COVID patients, both Southeast Health and Flowers Hospital in Houston County have doctors, nurses, and staff reaching their limits. He says they are going above and beyond to make sure patients are cared for. They're overworked, they're stressed. Um, the numbers of people out there are extremely high. Um, they're not able to do their normal job because of the um, amount of work and, and the COVID that's put on them. Today, Southeast Health has a total of 112 patients fighting COVID and Flowers currently has 78 patients battling the virus. This is why he's asking for the help of the community. Any kind of um, uh, assistance you can give them to help them while they're working, to make them feel good about the community caring about them. If you're unable to donate items such as food or drinks, Culver says it's a great idea to even drop off letters of encouragement. He says Says these will go a long way for the people fighting on the front line. Culver says the community needs to help and reach out to all hospital staff and let them know they are appreciated. But he says the best way to show them their work is worth it by getting vaccinated and wearing a mask. We encourage people to, con to wear a mask when you're in public. We encourage people to get the vaccine if you feel comfortable doing that, but, but really do your research and make sure you know uh, about the vaccine and you make a conscious decision about it. In Houston County, Alex Valdez, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.